Now, you know we're in a cursed world. You understand the cursed world because let's, let's look at it from the perspective of the heathen, which I once was and you were too before you was born again. Because sometimes people say, well, you shouldn't call people heathens. Why not? That's what they are. That's what I was. What's a he what is a heathen? Someone that don't believe in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. So we could say unbeliever. But I want to show you something that the Holy Spirit just reminded me of or showed me here just a minute ago, just now. In the kingdom, we understand this is what matters. In the cursed world, this is what matters. If you don't believe it, Google it. Google what's the most revenue in the world. I can tell you before you Google it. Diet and fitness. Because if you ain't this, you ain't nothing. So we put the world, not us, the world put all the emphasis on the body. Then they put emphasis on the soul, but they never get the spirit reborn, and that's the real you. And this is why people deal with guilt, condemnation, regret. I mean, you name it. The list goes on and on and on and on. Feeling less than. Feeling like, well, I have to hold my head down because I'm nobody. No, you're more than a nobody. You're a king. You're a priest of the Most High God. That's why I've never been, I mean, I don't have anything against the royals, so don't throw anything at me. My wife is one of those that love to follow them. What are, Kate and William, is that their names? The ones that's just had the baby and all that. And I don't have a problem with that. I think they're a neat couple. But I never put a lot of emphasis on them because I'm just as royal as they are. You say, well, ain't you something? Yeah, sit down, I'll tell you. Now, in myself, I'm nothing, and I'm fully aware of it. But in him, I'm all I need to be. I'm not you, I'm not somebody else, but I'm the best Danny I can be, and you're the best you you can be based on who you are in him. Anybody successful in God's kingdom has full revelation of this truth, and that is they are nothing without him. But with, the, with him, they can do all things. And that's where we at. The spirit's perfect. We line the soul up, renew our mind to what's happened in the spirit. And then the body, we don't even have to worry about it. It'll get in line. Because when you get two-thirds majority, the body will respond. You'll be healthier than you've ever been. You'll, you'll, you'll do things that the spirit reminds you of. Now, please understand this. I haven't arrived and neither of you. This is a goal that we're shooting for. This is what we're focused on. The spirit's perfect. We're going to renew the mind to that and then the body will follow. 